Grand Central through here today. Lucky I haven't got my car here. I'm all alone. I told him to drop me off. I think I said that earlier. So I can have the day without being disturbed by children. Can you come and get me? So I'm enjoying my day of freedom here, doing this with you guys and being able to list stuff. That's Grand Central. Um, and I think I've said it before, it's very narrow. It's just like a two lane, two road. You've got to go one way, but it's quite squishy when you go past other cars. Okay, so I haven't got that much more to go. I've got a bucket of tools, which I'm not going to show you. A really big bucket. It's got oh, chisels and it's got so much stuff in it. I've got some belt, leather belts. I love leather belts. One's actually for an old suitcase. They really come in handy if you've got a suitcase that's missing. And speaking of suitcases, I love my old suitcases. Oh, I've got so many in my other story shed. Like, what's, this, is, this is going for free. This is going for free. I'll be able to use to put stuff in it. And everything's there. Oftentimes the belts, these straps, are missing off them. And it's all there. I'm so excited. So, yeah, my eyes were like, yoo -hoo, and it was there. And they said, you can take that. Thank you. I was so grateful. And also, the, I got a, a nice esky, and that's what the other stuff was just in. A really nice, big, usable esky with nothing wrong with it. Um, I got these too, and I think they might be good quality. Arco steel, stainless steel scissors. So if anyone knows, I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it and I'm going to see what they are. Um, this came out of one of the boxes. She said it was her grandmother's darning, darning when we used to, back in the day when we, we used to have to darn socks because we weren't able to go and buy junk stuff and throw it away when it was got a hole in it. We had to rip it hair, everything. Because oftentimes our socks were hand knitted. It took a lot of work. So that's what that is, a darning tool. I think the bottom's missing, but she said she's always used it like that. Her grandmother used it like that, her mother used it like that, she used it like that. So that was just a nice little bit of history piece that I thought I'd show you. Okay. The free stuff, here we are, the free stuff. Okay. I got cameras. A whole box of a camera, which uh, cameras are worth looking at. Some go for really good money. I can't find much on that one yet. I'm going to go do some more research, but all the bits are there, so that was good. And I also got this old camera. Um, that, which I'll show you in a second. And two, a little recording. No no plugs or anything, so I presume it's got a battery, it's actually, so I'm going to test if it works, but it's actually a recorder. So to my granddaughter yesterday, see, this is what we had before CDs came out. Well, they don't even have CDs. Um, we used to have to listen to stuff on these. So that, and also this little Sanyo stereo cassette tape. Very retro, very 80s. So, yeah, I'm going to be uh, probably selling that or keeping, I don't know. Tell me to stop keeping stuff. Tell me, tell me to stop keeping stuff. I need money, I need my house. So I need a house. Okay, and then in that box was this, which I'd never heard of before. Twizlow. Now this, I think, yeah, yeah, Twizlow. So it came with the stuff that I bought. I bought all of this stuff. And this is what it looks like. It's actually a really old game, but I can't find anything that's this old. And this is actually rusted. That's how old it is. It's rusted. And you move the pieces around according to whatever these tell you the patterns they tell you to do have you as a boomer ever seen these because i've never seen this game never ever heard of this game but that's what it is it's called twizlow so please let me know down below if you know what twizlow is and if you've actually heard about it and i'm hoping i can get it back it looks like it's it's all metal and the paint's still there it's just really rusty so hopefully i'm going to get that working again properly and that was in that lot of box too, was this beautiful old print, if you can see it. So, and you can tell it's old, something for you young people, if you're any young people here. You can tell they're old when they use the nails to put the pictures in with. So no staples or anything like that, they actually use little nails to do it with. So that tells you it's an old print. Now this is, I don't know what's in this box. I've get, got some books over there that she gave me. She gave me a horse book and a snake book. Uh, I'm not going to show you, they're over there. Um, someone in the family made that, so I presume it's a ring holder. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be keeping that or not, but put it somewhere. Now, in this box, I just grabbed it because the lady was getting these beautiful retro chairs as I got there. And they were really not like they were not my style, but they were very 70s retro with the little wooden pieces and the vinyl seats. And she had to get one more that was in there and the box was on it. So I said, Look, I'll just take the box for from you. And it had a heap, it had two of these old cash tins. Now, they're probably not worth anything, so I have got one. Ooh, this one's got stuff in it. I have got one at home that I've had for a long time. But it's got all the um, little filing system things in it. That's what that is. And it's got the keys. 
be nice for someone who wants to upcycle stuff, so that'll be good for that. I've got another book. I didn't know I had any more books in here. See, I didn't even look at any of this, and you and me are looking at this at the same time. A Million Acres of Masterpiece. That'll be beautiful to read. And Life as an Australian Horseman. Sorry, you couldn't see them. My grandson, I'll give them to him first, but... Yeah, those books that go well because people love horses. Um, this is what we sold, the Diseases of Livestock. And over there, which I didn't, I'm not going to show you unless you want to see it another day, a whole heap of picture frames. And one of them's got all these cows. He must, This guy, he must have, Mr Booker, must have won some show prizes for his cattle. So, um, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what these are worth. And they've actually got old newspapers inside. So let's have a look. See if anything's got a date on it. Bovine fever, a piece of paper. Here we are. Can't see. Well, TV's around, you know that. Ballina Shire Advocate. No, if I find it later, I'll let you know. I think it's probably a book from the 70s or something, something like that to myself. But I will let you know. But yeah. That will probably sell quite well to farmers like a lot of these old books. So let's see what else is in here. I've got uh, no lot lid, but I think that'd be nice. It's actually a bake light handle. Hang that up somewhere with some nice succulents coming down. Mr. Booker, what was this for? I don't know. Someone tell me, please. I thought at first it was something to do with dresses. It's Hope 80. I will research it. I thought it was like a dress measurer, but it's got maybe it was a dress measurer. Probably is a dress measurer. Maybe so that's what that is. What else? Oh, I'll show you here. Look up here. See this huge, gigantic torch. This is, I think, hundred candle light, thousand candle light. So my husband's taking it home to see if he can get it working because my granddaughter can then use it when she's at skate park and it's getting dark and the light goes out. She can use it then because all her friends like to do that. Oh, I've got that. Which the other half is somewhere. So yeah, what if they work? Because if they do, they'd be good. Because my my house is just about dead. I've been the boys here for a while. And, I'll be testing that Remington out, see if it works. Um, it looks like a nesting box, and if it is, well, it's been made to look like one, but my grandson's got a bird that keeps laying eggs, so she needs a boyfriend, so she can actually, yeah, have eggs that actually have babies. Um, but yeah, that looks like a nesting box, whether it is or not, I don't know. But it could be made into one. Bits and pieces like that. Another Remington thingy. An empty box. Sorry, I don't know, I'm flashing through you too fast. Um, don't know what this is at all. Some sort of rubbish thingy. Battery charger. I think it's an old battery charger. It's no good to me. Um, a brand new battery, which is good. A little tin. Which I can't even open. There's nothing inside it. A little tin use with something. Uh, tweezers, brand new ones, that's good, I'll keep that. Um, gigantic matchstick. <laughs> there it goes, it still works, look at that, it still works. Um, so yeah, gigantic matchstick. A tin for 2006 Premier tin, biscuit tin. A little pocket watch, pocket watch, pocket knife, with all the bits on it. What's that? Some plastic bags, which will come in handy. <laughs> so that's what's in that box, and I'm going to go and get the next box. And I've got, I think I'm down to the last box, I think. I hope. And I hope you're still with me, and if you're not, well, sorry. <laughs> okay, 1953 Women's Weekly magazine. Lovely old ads. Now, the advertisements can even sell their own, but look, look at even just the. Look at the glamorous look, look of that. It's just beautiful style. But it is actually falling apart, so it'll probably go into my preservation. It's the camera, um, the wedding, I think. Wedding of the Queen. Can't really see it it's falling apart. But I'll probably put that in my um, folder that's got the preserving papers in it that I bought a while ago. Um, remember I said I had another one? There's the other one. Alabaster, whatever it's supposed to be. Very Asian looking. So if you know what that's supposed to be for, I sort of have a feeling maybe it's for some type of, you know, on a table you put your little toothpicks and stuff on it. I don't know. There's two of them. So 
Okay, let's go. We've got some nice little bits. Oh, we've got some old books in here too. I don't know what's in this one. Okay, it's a little napkin serving, napkin holder. It'd be nice. For, actually, I could put business cards in that too. Um, little gravy jar, gravy bowl, crown, crown ducal label. It's a gravy bowl. Sadly, it's got chips in the side of it, but again, really nice sitting somewhere with a nice plant in it. So that'll be worth it. Another ashtray. Um, this should be probably a sugar bowl. But it's got, I can't find the lid at the moment, but it is Wade, Wade Ruby Tone Wade Ware. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, here's the, here's the lid. Yes, broken though. Uh, it was a sugar bowl, so the lid's been broken. So again, beautiful with a little. See, a lot of these bits like this, I'll probably keep because I won't be able to sell them, um, and they will look really good when I have a garden. When I learn how to garden, I can use them for plants. Little plate, a little mug. It's probably got a little plate with it somewhere. A little pewter thingy thing. Two carry shells. I didn't even know they were in there. And carry shells are so hard to find these days. I've got quite a few old shells put away, so yeah, nice old carry shells. Now, guess what this is? I'm going to leave this. I'm going to see who watches to the end because I'm nearly finished. Guess what this is? So I know you've watched to the end. If you can tell me what you think it is, you have to guess what it is, okay? I think it's very awesome. And there was a hint in there, if you don't know. <laughs> I'm sure someone will put it and everyone goes, oh, yeah. Um, this is another, yeah, it's an, a, another um, mould of glass. This would have been probably a trifle dish when we made trifles back in the day. I'm such a lazy cook, I would have hated it then. So much I would have loved and some of it would have hated, but, yeah, that would have been a trifle dish. And it's smelt, and it smells. It sounds like it's crystal. What do you reckon? <laughs> Okay, another, another, this one actually, I was going to keep all of them, but I think I really like this, the carving in this one, another cigar dish, cigar, cigar, yeah, dude, cigar box, slow down woman, so it's a lovely cigar box, with beautiful detail on it, little ring dish, which we see quite a lot, and this is a potty. It's a potty. It's a potty, guys. I've got another potty. I will keep this one. I have got. I love. I've got a couple of potties. I've got enamel ones. I used to have a one of these too. But another one, great. It's got a couple of chips in it, so great for putting some plants in it. Or even a beautiful display of short flowers. So um, no maker's mark on that, but yeah, I think it'll be a potty one. Yeah, it's my kids would say. We have. A very old tape measure winds back up and we have a thingamajig so if you know what this thingamajig is let me know because I do not know what it is does it's got no no rhyme or reason for being alive we being being existing so it looks like it's screwed onto something but I have got nothing here that we're probably screwed onto actually hang on no no no, oh, don't know. Someone has to tell me that one. I don't know. Another little dish, little pin dish or whatever type of dish. Beautiful piece of ware. No, it's just got a stamp on it, but it's got no maker's marks. But look at the gold in that. That is so pretty. Now all this, a lot of this is for sale. You'll see it on Pretty Rusty Facebook page. So jump over there if you want to have a look. Um, another dish, no maker's mark on it either. Safety pins, oh, I'll we'll keep those, that always come in handy. We're nearly at the end, I'm going to keep a couple off. Oh, okay. I've got two, I've got a really old domino packet. And they're old dominoes, old wooden dominoes. And polished checkers, which I'm not going to even open, so they'll be they're like similar to the ones I showed you before little round wooden things. I should have kept something really exciting to the end, shouldn't I? Damn! Oh no, it's good to show you as I go because I don't know what's in them either. We've got Sandy's collection. Oh, that's that Rudd fella, I think. On our selection. Oh, really old, really old. Um, you know the old Dad and Dave books? 
that's what these are really old dad and dave books now if you don't know who dad and dave is look it up but yeah sandy selection back at our selection 19 whatever it's been 1950s i think or 40s let you know two seconds so we've got old dad there or was it dave one of them by steel right 1957 yep 1957 that one is not first edition sadly another one um if abroad this book should roam just smack its back and send it home to osborne wagstaff and this one's also got a picture up inside it and it's 1954 original would have been great 1899 that would have been fantastic and then there's another one back at it to our selection uh, 1908 to dear old dad with best wishes for a happy new year with with so much love from ethel and daphne new year 1908 so there i did get an old one copyright 1906 and so that's an original original edition of steel rod dad and dave's dad makes a speech the homecoming so that one it's got a lot of boxing in it but it might be worth something so that was a good one to keep for me for now <laughs> Okay, we're down to the last couple of things. Can't wait to show you my other. I should have taken a photo of my chandelier and stuff, but you'll see it hopefully soon. Um, two more plates. We have got this one, which has got a chip on the corner, but people will still buy them because they will break them up and use them for mosaics, and some people actually put them in jewellery. So that's really pretty. And this is the one, which has got a beautiful print on it, which is Manto Wear Made in Japan. That's a really nice one, all, just, all that. Even the colouring and everything is beautiful on that. So that, I think that's it. I might find more. Who knows? But I think that's all I have to show with you. I'm so glad that's sorted because I've actually been sorting everything as I go. Are you still here? Yes or no? Let me know because that was a long one. I don't know. If, this might be divided into two. It depends on how big it is by the time I, I'm editing it. So we will see what it's going to be. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching that. And I hope it didn't bore you too much. And I hope you got a bit of a thrill of seeing some of the old stuff because I absolutely love old stuff. Now I've got to get listing. List, list, list. Um, so I thank you for watching and staying with me. If you did, let me know. Let me know what that little glass thing that I showed you is. Um, let me know if I've made any errors in any of my things that I've said what they are. Um, let me know if you've seen something that you remember from your grandparents. Yeah, so anyway, happy hunting. I've had an absolute ball with my hunting, different than usual, and I'm not finished yet. Um, so happy hunting, be kind, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Bye! It's dinner time. It's made by, I don't know, it's from, it's greetings from Caloundra, so it's a, a vintage um, souvenir from Caloundra. Joseph Original. So I shall be checking her out. Now I'm going. Bye! Hello, it's Nellie Clampett here, sitting in her rocking chair in her shed. Like I said, I figured if I buy the chair, the house will come. But I thought I'd also buy some doors and the house might come. I've got some um, those old style screen doors I've always loved on houses where you just don't have all the security stuff on them. Would they go in my house? Would they go somewhere else? I don't know, but I have always wanted them. So I managed to get some, them today really cheap. I also got the rest of my stuff from the uh, from out there. I did. I left the wagon wheel because the wagon wheel one. I didn't have anyone to help me get up on the roof. Two, the back door was shut, um, uh, full, and I because I had my old. Um, I've got my old table, marble top table over there. It needs a lot of bit of work. Not a lot of work, just a bit of work. It needs some moisture in the wood, and then I'll probably end up painting it. So it needs that. And I want to show you the other bits that the lady gave me. But before I do that, I'll show you something else that I got. This, uh, can you see the little old 1960s, 70s, probably 1970s um, pram, 60s pram actually. Uh, a lot of us boomers had one, remember it? Yeah, I, I got that yesterday in my treasures, in what from my treasures, and I've got some more photo, more picture frames today as well. Some of the stuff that I was going to pick up today had already gone, which was fine, but my husband wanted the winches. My Samsung phone, Bixby, always jumps up and, and stops my video going. Anyway. So I want to show you the things that she gave me. What else she gave me? So she actually called me in and said, come in here. I want to give you something. So while I was going in, I also picked up some sheets they were throwing out. Retro sheets, sell well. People turn them into dresses or they have them for their caravans. So I'll grab that to make some money on. But these things that I've got here, I'll be keeping. 
She gave me her, her hat from the 1950s. She even wrote down that it was from the 1950s and it's pure wool and it was hers. It was a Gloria Senior's little hat. So that will go in my little hat collection that I have up north. And I've got some here too, but yes. And then she gave me this envelope and on the envelope she wrote everything down. See, she wrote everything down. This is my keeping stuff that she gifted to me. So I was very, very happy about that. Um, how kind, how loving, how sweet was that. So she gave me a brooch and earrings from 1945 from her first boyfriend. So 1945 earrings and brooch. And you guys know, most of you know, that I love to collect these old style pieces of jewellery. So the two earrings and this gorgeous brooch which will go into my collection of rhinestone brooches that I have in my storage, which I want to actually have displayed one day. Then she gave me these. Um, she said she thinks they are stones from Wales. Now, if anyone recognises these, she told me what she thought they were called, and I've forgotten. Isn't that terrible? Anyway, these stones, does anyone recognise them? There's three of them that look the same. Excuse my filthy nails. You always get my filthy fingernails. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, can you, can, you, can you see those guys? Can you see what they are? So let me know what they're called. Did she say cat's eyes? Maybe that's what she said. I can't remember. But she did call them something and I didn't write down. And then she gave me this amazing, amazing old 1890s thimble. This is a silver thimble she's given to me. It'll have to be silver because that's what they did. But I'll have a look in a minute. But isn't it beautiful? She said she used to use it. Grandmother used to use it. The great grandmother used to use it. So it was her grandmother's 1890s thimble. Now, for anyone who's not a boomer, you don't know what a thimble is. It's what you use when you're doing a lot of sewing, so you don't keep pushing the needle through. If we go on the other opposite hand, probably, um, or pushing the needle through too. Or yeah, it's for sewing. <laughs> Oops, the wrong finger. It's for sewing. So it's a beautiful silver embossed thimble which I will keep because it was gifted to me so lovingly so that's the sort of stuff I will not sell for that reason because um, that was given to me with thought and love so yeah that's where I am at the moment I'm sitting in my I'm Nelly Clampett I might sit here for five minutes and just unwind a little bit my um, door my old doors I'll probably end up re-screening them eventually maybe painting them I don't know it depends it depends on what my house looks like or my shed my she shed I'm going to get one day but it's got a, the old the old um you know the turning bells that we used to torture our family with? We'd like to turn the bell and make it ring. Yeah, it's got that on it. We're going to listen to it, shall we? And um, I'll change the handles on it. But Now, they'll bring back memories from all that used to that to our parents, always turning the little thing. <laughs> but, yeah, that's uh, that's what's going to go into my house. And I forgot what I was going to say, so I'm going to go. I don't know where, where this video, if this video... It's probably hugely long too. I don't know where this part of this video that I'm doing now is going to go in. It'll go in somewhere. So I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to say goodbye. Happy hunting. Be kind. Keep smiling. And I will see you soon. Bye. What I actually meant to say was Nellie Clampett out. Bye. <laughs>